miso poached salmon with Asian vegetables. Organisation is key in the kitchen. Take a couple of minutes before you start and set yourself up. Make sure you know where everything is, stock, spatula, pan, etc. It becomes less stressful, but more importantly, the end results are incredible. First off, get your pan on. Whisk and stock. Start off with this amazing fermented soybean puree. Into the pan. Three nice tablespoons. Gas on. Now get your fish stock and whisk into the puree. Be generous with the stock. You want this nice, light broth, basically. You can buy miso paste from big supermarkets and it works brilliantly with salmon. Poaching the salmon in the miso stock gives it a really nice sort of sweet, earthy, creamy flavour. It's incredible. Bring it up to the bowl. We're going to infuse the broth and make it a little bit more fragrant. Kaffir lime leaf is very lemony inside the miso broth. Then chopped chilli. Chilli's in. And finely sliced ginger. That's simmering beautifully. Now, we're going to poach the salmon. Poaching means cooking it in liquid, but it's cooked gently. And the secret here is to keep that salmon skin on. If we took the skin off now, the salmon can actually break up whilst it's poaching. Skin side, down. Just going to slide that in. Under. Nice. The minute that stop, starts boiling. Turn it down and let it simmer. Take a little ladle and just every couple of minutes pour over. That makes sure the top of the salmon is cooked evenly and keeps it nice and moist. And poaching is one of the most delicate ways of cooking, so you have to handle it with care. Whilst the salmon's poaching in the miso broth, start preparing your vegetables. I'm using tender stem broccoli and bok choy. I always like to cook the leaf and the stem separately. The leaf is like sort of spinach, and the stem is so much thicker, it's almost as thick as a stick of celery. So I like to get the stems sliced, just so I've got that nice sort of crispness. Place the leaves together nicely, roll them up nice and tight, and then slice them down. Now, my salmon, already the flavour in that broth has been elevated. Mm. Now it tastes really fishy, you've got the heat the chilli, spiciness, the ginger, and the kaffir lime leaf. Take your fish slice and place it very gently underneath the salmon and push it down. Fish slices are flexible for that reason. Bend it, lift it up, just touch, you're looking for a springy, firm texture. And just sit that on top. A little touch of the broth over it. It stops it from drying out. Leave that to cool down for two minutes. Bring the stock back up to the boil. Broccoli in, bok choy. Stems in, a little taste. Mm. It's getting better and better and better. Cook the broccoli and the bok choy stems for one minute and then add the tops in. Turn the salmon into your hand and just peel all that skin off. And the skin also helps to keep the salmon nice and moist. Then gently flake the salmon. That's the secret behind poaching. Everything just stays so moist. Wonderful long shards of pink. Now, just before we serve, we're going to add our mushrooms. These are enoki mushrooms. You could buy these enoki mushrooms in big supermarkets and good grocers. Slice them off. I'm going to put half in, and the other half I'm going to serve with the salmon. Toasted sesame seed oil. Put a little drip in there. Just rub. And you're just lining, almost like a little coat of varnish. Start off with your mushrooms and then my salmon. Four nice layers. And then finally, the mushrooms. Top with the vegetables. And then finally, a nice ladle. That beautiful, really sumptuous, rich stock. Lovely. And that is an amazing miso poached salmon soup. Simplify your cooking by getting organised and amazing food will be coming out of your kitchen every day. And for great food, you need great ingredients.